a husband in jail. A husband. All right. First off, my husband is 36. I wait, am wait, wait, 17. Wait. I love my man. I was 16 years old when I left with him, came back pregnant, served time for him because I love him. When you I served time for him? <laughs> How many chances do you got to get us, man? You know what I do and you know what I'm about and I'm not with it because I'll take you down. That's why. That's why. are putting their foot down demanding that their loved ones dump the men in their lives. Why? Because their men are in jail. That's why. But their loved ones are here to defend their locked up lover boys. Let's meet them first. Yeah. Latasha, Tamika, Brandy and Mia, come on out. Latasha, yes. let's start with you. Okay, first off, you, you have a husband in jail. Yes, a husband. All right. First off, my husband is 36. I wait, am wait, wait, 17. Wait. Seven. <laughs> my man, he is old enough to be my father, but I do love him. My oh. sisters don't like him because he hit my baby sister. Oh. I guess she must have done something wrong enough because she deserved it. Oh. Love my man, and I, is that why he's in jail? No, he's yes for hitting my sister. Yes, he is, and a parole violation. But I love my jailbird, and he's the only one for me. I can't see myself with nobody else. Wow. Okay, Tamika. Well, Robin, my man been in jail for three years. He got sent to the halfway house. He escaped no walk because he loved me. He came to my house. He stayed with me. Then he got back on the street and started doing the dumb stuff he did. He got locked up again. Now I'm going down there to see him every week, putting money in his account. You know? I love him. You're and standing by your man. That's right. I'm standing by my man, Robin. That's right. And I love him. I love him. Brandy? Well, Robin, I was with my boyfriend for two years. He was in jail for a year. He came out, had a trial day. He missed his trial day. He was on the run for six months. And basically, we're still together. They caught on me, went back to jail. I go visit him twice a week, and I put money on his books. And he comes home next month. That's right. That's right. What's he in jail for? Drugs. <laughs> Mia? Well, Robin, it's as simple as this. I love my man. I was 16 years old when I left with him, came back pregnant, served time for him because I love him. When you served time for him? <laughs> yeah, because I love him. Okay. I love him. I was but they didn't, lock him. You, they didn't lock you up for loving him. Why'd they lock you up? Well, because they said I was an accomplice with him. He was in for an auto theft and for violating parole. But I love him and I was six months pregnant and if I had to do it again, I'll do it again. And you married him. You're married, right? Yeah, I'm married. And if you had to do it, you'd do it again. I'd do it again. Stand by your man, go to jail for him. Exactly. You have a question? Yeah. I would like to know from this young lady right Mia? here. Mia? Yes. Again? Mia. Why would you even be with someone who wouldn't care if you or your baby is in jail and if you deliver your baby in jail? I love him. And if he, he let you go to jail for him, for him, if he let you go to jail for him, he probably be the one to turn your ass in. takes to do it. Mia, you have a child, you have children, right? Yes. How many? A six-month-old baby boy. Okay. And anybody else? Who, who else has children up here? Who else has children? Everybody? By their men in jail? Yep. No? Who's your child by? My child's by somebody doing life in the penitentiary. Oh. So you've got... Ain't no what? I was with him for six years. Sorry. Ain't no what? So you're the father... The father of your of your child. How old's your child? My children. Children. Uh -huh. By him. By this man. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
He's in jail now, mm -hmm. and he's doing life. Mm -hmm. Okay, here these, we go. These girls are my age. What do their parents think about this? Well, Get crazy. Me. grandmother think about your uh, boyfriend or husband hitting the baby? Wait a minute, my mom said, if you like it, I love it. If I'm happy, she don't uh -uh. mind. My man may be in jail, but when he is home, he take care of business. Okay, wait a minute. You don't get, don't get angry at this guy, because he's asking a good question. I mean, no, he's all like, um, your mom, did she thought like, sure, come on now. He's not just going to go outside and shoot somebody and kill somebody for no reason. Okay, right. He's but, not like all right, that. But listen, you know listen, what I'm saying? It we're was self-defense. We're not talking about him. Just a minute, please. We're not talking about him. We're talking about you and your choices. I'm not going to find it too dear comment. I'm not going to find it too dear comment. But listen, listen. For real, uh-uh. Okay, guys, you got a question. So, you've got, a, you've got three children by a man who's doing life. For whatever reason. You, mm -hmm. You've explained that, all right? You've got three children by mm -hmm. him. And now you've chosen another man that's also in prison. Don't you think no, you need no, to look no, at no, the no, choices no, 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 you no, made? No, no, no. Excuse me. When I didn't just choose him, when I chose to be with him, he was not in jail. He went to jail while we worked together. And when he was in jail, I felt as though ain't no point of being with no man while he's out if you can't be with him while he's in. Right. There's no point. There, there, then there's no love here. That's how I feel. Like I told my man, if you do more than three months, four months, five months, or even a year in jail, I'm gone. Okay, each and every one of you are here today because a family member has brought you here. Some too. Right? Latasha, yes. you got two sisters who brought yeah, you here today. Two big mouth sisters. Two big mouth girls. Your sisters brought you here. All of you guys have family members who want you to get out of these relationships. Coming up, we're going to hear from Latasha's sisters who say that staying with her husband is like slapping them in the face. Stay with us. <laughs> Sister Natasha needs a reality check. She has a man that's 20 years older than she is. He's in jail for him, my younger sister. And he's trifling ghetto and sorry, and she needs to dump him today. I'm 31 years old. I'm here to tell y'all, I done been there, done done it, done seen it, done lived it. It don't pay. You got to me. me. Believe you me, you're gonna be sitting in the same cell he's sitting there passing notes because that's what you're gonna end up. Welcome back. Our guests today say that the loves of their lives are behind bars, but they're determined to stick with them. But their loved ones have a big problem with it. Our next guests, Dana and Lakeitha Bearfield, say their sister insists on standing by her husband even though he's constantly in and out of jail. Dana and Lakeitha, come on out. Deserve to get hit, I will beat your ass. You deserve to get hit. You deserve to get hit. You deserve to get your ass beat to the left and hit your little sister. Let him know. 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 He won't be living the next day. All right. Can you guys talk one at a time? Oh, 
Stay calm. I'm trying to tell you. It's hot. Okay, so we can have a nice conversation. Let's talk one at a time. He hit you. No. He hit me. My little sister is not one at a time. The one he hit is not on the show right okay. now. Okay. She didn't want to um, come. My little sister was, she's like 14. And um, something happened on New Year's Eve. And I guess he didn't want Tasha to leave. And he told her, don't leave. Tasha left anyway. And she wanted him to come get her or something. And when he came, he hit my little sister. Did you I don't care you know what my little sister. Wait a minute. You know what? It's not a it, why to it, Tasha. It I'm no sorry. Why. It's she not 14. no why to it. She 14. He don't have no business she in 14. her. It's not no why. Okay. It's not no why. You're 17 years old, yes, right? He's 36 years old. Same age as your daddy. And AJ ain't nothing but a number. Same and I love my man. I'm so be daddy. with him regardless. Love ain't got not a dang thing to do with it. Love ain't got nothing to do with that old man. Because that old man ain't got nothing. What can you do for that old man? You and 17, girl, you can't make up with 675 in California. We tried to get in touch with my sister to be in love. We actually ain't even talked to my sister since January 1st. Now, is this the first time you're seeing your yes, sister? It yes, it is. So do yes, you feel it that, he's, that she's chosen this man in she, jail? She over? did. She did. She did. When she, she, did. When she, she made that back. call and told us, my man said don't come to my house, that ain't even his house. How he going to tell somebody to fly right house? Right How do a man live with, with you and your man. mama? Do you feel like she's being controlled, even she though he's from in control. jail? She probably don't see it because it's a mind thing. An older man can't do nothing but, but manipulate your mind. I've been there and I've done that. He can't do nothing but manipulate your mind. You at 17. You at 17. I want you to understand this because I've been there. Been I went with that. a man old like that. that. He tried to take me away from my Wait mama. You know what I'm saying? He no tried to manipulate my mind. Anytime like a man tells you don't call your sister and you don't do it, he can took over your mind. You know what I'm saying? These are your sisters. Your older sister, one of your older sisters said, she's been there, she's done that. But she feels like she wants you to listen to her because she's got some wisdom she can share with you. And she brought you here because she loves you. You're absolutely right. So stop yelling at her because yelling Passion. doesn't get to her. Be quiet. Every no, time. no. Lakeitha, you be quiet now. She made a good point. She said all you do is yell. And she doesn't want to listen to anybody to yell. So let's stop yelling and let's talk. Yeah. We'll find out later if Latasha is willing to dump her husband to save her sisterly relationships. But up next, we're going to meet a woman who says her friend's man is up to no good, even in jail. Stay with us. My best friend's boyfriend didn't give her the time of the day until he got locked up. Now she just blows me off for him. Little do she know she's only being used. Today she either dump him or lose me forever. Yes, forever. First of all, he in the needs car. to be in jail because he ain't got no business being with her. Second of all, he's drinking with her and she's stupid. And third of all, her mama wrong. Because if that was my daughter, I would have whooped your ass. <laughs> to let a jail sentence separate them from their locked up lovers, but their loved ones are here to throw away the key on their relationships. Our next guest, Vanessa Hogan, says her friend Tamika's man wasn't a good boyfriend before he went to jail, and he sure won't be any better when he gets out of jail. Yeah. Hey, Vanessa, come on out. She's only 17, no diploma, no job, no nothing. What you gonna do with her child? Yeah. No, that's not gonna work. Good. what do you got to say about to your friend Tamika? Evidently, he don't love her that much. He runs her house. So oh, wait. got her kids and her house in Jeffrey. Five old bucks in her house. He's taking her in the Vanessa, I think you have a 
good point. And Tamika, I want you to address that point, all of you. So anytime you said your man broke out of prison, busted out. No, he escaped from the halfway house. So okay, halfway house. Escaped. Halfway house. And he came to stay with you yes. and your child. Yes, my daughter. Your daughter. Yeah. So how long was he there? For like two weeks. Two weeks hiding out, right? What happens when they come and they get your child and they can possibly hold you for giving him a place to stay and they take your child away? What do you plan to do about that? How do you feel that you're jeopardizing your safety and your child's safety? No, nobody know he came to my house. Nobody. They know. Yeah. to say I notice how everybody keeps saying you know my boyfriend loves me and my husband loves you don't you think if he loved you enough he'd do what it takes to stay out of trouble to make things work yes. 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 He wouldn't have ran from the halfway house and if her and her loved her, she sure wouldn't be violated. That's not love. That's not love. Wait a minute. I don't know you. Don't get me wrong. I don't know you. I don't know you. It's not love. Don't mean you. I don't know you. Sit down. Sit down. Let them answer the question. Answer the question. Brandy, go on. To what she said, that's why when my man come home this time, if he go back, he won't be with me. You just said a big yeah. thing because you have one man, you have three children by one man who is in prison doing yeah, life. But I don't you're not, wait a minute. Him. Okay, mm -hmm. but you're now dating a man in prison. Yeah, no, and he's in jail. In, in jail. Yeah, all right. In jail. Dang, but if dang. you're saying now, if he comes home, if he has to go back to jail or to prison, you are done with him. Yeah, because I mean, I can't keep, you know what I'm saying? I'm a full time student, I work full time, and I can't keep running to no jail. So you're crazy. Wait a minute. Yeah. And you've got a friend here, Danita, who I'm yeah, sure sister. your sister, ooh, will be happy to hear that. Danita, come on out. I'm doing you better think now. She was making a little bit of sense. Yeah. Danita, I don't know if you know this. Wait a minute. Truth. In the beginning, Brandy was sitting there yelling at the people, yes. didn't like what they had to say. Yes. But no, that was that one of my Okay, you know all right. Because yeah. But she started. He to, don't got nothing to do okay. with this show right okay. here. Okay, absolutely. But she is starting to make some sense, right? right? And I'm the oldest on this panel. Okay. okay? I'm 31 years old. I'm here to tell y'all. I done been there, done done it, done seen it, done lived it. It don't pay. You got to believe me. me. It don't pay. You got to pay now. Oh, you 17, you 17, you got one baby, you going to have another baby, you going to have another baby, and he going to be writing you and nine yeah, others. Exactly. Trust. All he okay? Do. You got a baby, you got a baby, and he running from the halfway house, coming to your house, and you got a baby. Trust, believe you me, you're going to be sitting in the same cell he's sitting there, passing notes, because that's where you're going to end up. And your baby's going to be in C.Y.A., okay? Yeah. You, you, what? You better get it together, sister. Hey, wait, wait, up here. Have you thought about the ramifications once um, the, your man gets out of prison, how hard it is to get a job when you fill out the application when it says, have you been arrested before? <laughs> what? Wait, <laughs> <Wait. laughs> Okay. How hard? So how hard? Well, I got no job. Over here, over here. here. I wouldn't care if he got to work the at yeah, Negro, McDonald's. Yeah. But you already know. Burger King. Yeah, I got a question working. for Brandy. Brandy. Brandy, Brandy, been... Brandy, you said at the beginning of the show that your boyfriend's in jail for drugs and you're giving him money. How do you know that he's not spending your money I'm on drugs? I'm giving him his money. What do you mean? Yeah, but how do you know he's not spending on drugs? You're giving him money. I'm giving him his money. How is he taking care of me? Didn't you just hear what I just said? Okay, here if you he go. About you, if he cared about you, I get what I need. If he cared about you, he would for. let you have the money, take care of the children, wait for him to come out of jail, yeah. and then wait, you guys wait, can wait, do your wait, thing. Wait, wait, but how do you know? Wait, how do you know he's not spending money on drugs? I mean, you're giving him the money. Wait, 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 or another woman. Exactly. Exactly. It don't even matter because that money is like fake silicone breath. It's gonna run out, and it ain't gonna last.
You get them broke. That's first of all. I'm never going to take nothing from nobody because I don't have to. I can always get what I want by asking. Second of all, when it comes to my kids, I wait for no man or nobody's money to do nothing for me. I do it myself. Where are you waiting for him? I do it myself. Where are you waiting for him? Because I choose to be with one man only and that's him. You know what? If he comes and gets out and he don't straighten up, act right, we might have a handsome brother for you. from her jailhouse romance. Stay with us. My cousin's jailbird husband is nothing but trouble. All he's done for her is made her suffer. He got her arrested for something he did while she was six months pregnant with his baby. If she doesn't wise up and face reality today, our relationship is over. I'm so hurt because you are my baby. And I don't want to see my sister hurt because I know my sister can do better. And you, you are know. pretty. You know. They're madly in love with men who happen to be incarcerated, but their loved ones are here to bring their dead end relationships to a halt. Our next guest, Noe Cortez, says his cousin's husband let her go to jail for his actions while she was pregnant with his baby. Oh. Hey, Noe, come on out. Cousin Noe, how you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Mia, yeah, what I'm here to tell you today is, I mean, you really need to wake up and face reality. You really do. I mean, along with a lot of the other young ladies here, especially you for one, because of doing what you did, going to jail for for your husband, with your husband, for actions that he's done for you. Stupid I mean, you it's not good. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, exactly what I'm saying. Up here, you guys. Up here. I tell you, I don't know about all you, but I don't know. A little young. I just think that the longer you men stay in prison, the better, because it'll keep you from reproducing, or them, or both of you. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Does anybody have conjugal visits with them? No, her, because that's nasty, and that's like sick. There ain't no way out. That shouldn't be done. That shouldn't be done. That's trifling. So all y'all ladies, y'all need to think about y'all kids first. Seriously, seriously. Because I got two... Wait a minute. I have two children and I don't have time for a man. All right? My baby father is with me still. He takes care of his kids very good, too. That's the way a man should be. Y'all just Take need to think about kids. a lot of things. But but Mia's Give child, me. who we're seeing right behind us. Look at that. Look at that. Mia, you were six months pregnant when you went to jail. Yeah. And he and let you go through all this? And that's not Did he all love you? It. You really think he loved you? It was an accident. Things happen. Things happen. I got something to say about that. I got something to say about that. If it was an accident. Hold on. Robin. Do you know when he's getting out? When no, is we he don't. We out? have no idea when he's getting out. Mia, you have no idea no. when he's getting out. No, but I have something to say. I have something to say. If, if, like just like all these women here, if you're if you really do love your woman and you know you're in trouble with the law, don't run away from parole to begin with. Same problem. Another problem. If you know you're in trouble with the law, why are you gonna go and do something to jeopardize your your family and your kids? Don't be doing that. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. You know that. Yep. Tell him he, you need to go on about your business while he's sitting in jail. You don't need to be waiting for him. He don't let her work. He doesn't I let her want the You don't want to He don't let you. Let you. He don't let her get a GD either. If she wants to. In any situation, ain't nobody, not even my mother, my grandmother, my grandfather, nobody comes before my kids. Right. Well, then make a choice. If nobody comes before your kids, make That's a choice. Good. Latasha, Latasha, okay, you said that it's okay for your boyfriend to hit husband. on your sister? Husband. Husband. When did you marry him, Latasha? February 13th. Where was he? Was he in prison? No, he was home. They had a $5 wedding. It's called a Reno wedding where we live out of California. Reno? See, you can't be carrying nobody at your wedding. I wouldn't have gotten married to that man. Unless I could have had a big wedding. Because, see, a real man would have had you a big wedding. Right. 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 Blood is thicker than water. Exactly. What happens? What happens? What happens 
when he turns around and he hits you. Mm. He what? He already Hello. Hello. He dragged her from the car. Don't say he didn't hit you. Because you told us the day we came to your house. You said he put you in the car. He put me in the car. He needs to be in jail because he ain't got no business being with her. Second of all, he's drinking with her and she's stupid. And third of all, her mama wrong. Because if that was my daughter, I would have whooped your ass. to think about what your loved ones have said. And when we come back, we're going to see if they're ready to free themselves from their relationships. Stay with us! Yeah! I'm so hurt because you are my baby. And I don't want to see my sister hurt because I know my sister can do better. And you, you are know. pretty! You know. loved ones looked for love in all the wrong places. And they found love, but in jail. Oh. Now they're waiting to find out if they will dump their incarcerated lovers today. Dana and Lakeitha Bearfield say their sister's husband is in jail for punching their little sister, and they want her to dump him today and move on. Am I right? Point blank. Point blank. Right. You're right? She needs to, um, Point blank. in January when we had talked to her, she had gave us, she had told us not to call her no more because he said that. And I'm the type of sister, well, I'm the type of person, period, nobody's going to put me on their back burner and, and I'm going to me to come. Yeah, because you, you going to need me. Your sister. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to, I'm not going to be, keep running and running and running and running to you. But then when I need you, you're not going to be there for me. So you're not going to put me on a back burner like that. But she's and your you sister. Be running you know and running what? And she is my me. sister. She is my sister. No, I'm saying it must really feel bad to yeah, feel that your baby she's my sister, sister chose and a man over you. And I would never you. pick no man over my sister because your wee wee ain't Blood that good. Ain't nothing Blood that good. Ain't nothing that good. Let's go to the door and see if she's there. Come on, Dana, you too. But Keith, I want you to stay calm because I don't want you okay. to get hurt right here on the show. <laughs> okay, let's see if she heard you, you guys. You ready? Let's hope Latasha's there. Let's open the door. Oh. You have a question, ma'am? Um, you know what? I'm through. I'm up here, cool. Up here, you guys. I'm, I'm here. Cool. I'm, 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 I don't want my hands. So. I just want to say cool. um, to your sister, I don't know where she is right now, but uh, she's not really setting a good example for young African-American women today because Any we're women? already... Any women! We're already stereotyped as being, you know, home and pregnant and your baby father is in jail and everything like that. I hope she really grows up. It's not just African yeah, women. Yeah. It's her child. Yeah. She has an eight-month-old daughter. Do you want your daughter to go? Yeah. It has, it, it's like a trend. When you set off stuff like this, it's a pattern. It goes and it goes and it goes and it goes. Lakeitha, you are such a bright woman. I couldn't agree with it you goes. more. That's your sister. You're hurt. You have to That's remember. Why I'm so hurt I, because you are my baby. You, my you daddy know. got 12 kids by and 12 we don't know. different people. And, you and we just found stupid. each other. You know what I'm saying? It's we ain't hard. got nobody it's but hurt. your brother because your I've sister. been there. And I don't want to see my sister hurt because I know my sister can do better. And you, you are know. pretty. You know. You, you are know. pretty. And you keep you saying. Know. And she keeps saying. And you know what your mama and your daddy, my mama, your okay. daddy, Oh. My mama ain't here. Okay. So you would want to do something. Reality okay. check real she quick. She she can't find nobody. You, you got don't family. need nobody. You 17 years you old. You need to open a bus. Open you a Bible. Bible. Listen Read that. Listen to me. Dana. Listen to me. Listen to me. You, she is 17 years old and it's so hard for her to listen to what you're saying and hear... Do you hear hard headed. Latasha, hard -headed, you, most seventeen year olds are hard headed. Latasha, I agree with your sister. You are being a little hard headed. I'm I just really believe that you're gonna need your sister one day. You're gonna really need her to lean on. You really, really are. Just think about it, because we're still here, so you can always come through. So think about it. You gonna always need somebody. Think about it. Always need somebody. You being hard headed. All right. Okay. You guys, we're here. Let's give her, wait a minute. Let's give her some time. Let's give her some time. Think about what they've said, Latasha. 
Vanessa Hogan says her friend Tamika has been blowing her off ever since she started dating her boyfriend in jail. Tamika refuses to dump him today. Vanessa says their friendship is over. Is that true, Vanessa? Surely it is. It is true. Do you think she's going to be there? If she don't, oh well, she's going to need me again. So if she can't let him go for me, to heck with her. Okay, let's go see if she's there. Go on. Okay. Yeah, so. <laughs> All right, Vanessa. Let's open the door. Oh! Jesus, I don't know what's wrong with these kids today. That's too. I don't know. You what's know what? She's making the self look stupid. Tasha and whatever her name is. Y'all both look stupid. <laughs> Vanessa, what do you think? You said you're still gonna be there for her. Are you gonna be there for her? Not for him, but for anything else. When he come home and play out, she gonna see it. She gonna yeah. feel it. And I'm not gonna feel her on that. Okay. Anything else except for this. All right. Tamika, what's up? What's up? Why didn't you come through the door? Because I think my friend is jealous. Because every time... Every time I talk about her, I do something. She always got something to say. She's my best friend. She's supposed to be there for me. Plain and simple. She ain't there for you. Truly, D, not supposed to be there for you. But why be there when I know when this guy come home, he's going to leave you alone? I've been there, done that, and still want you a little bit of things. But when I come to you, you listen to me. I can't get what you come to me and you want me to listen to you. But when he come home, he going to play you out. And I know you're going to run upstairs to the third floor. But what you want me to do, open up my door and let you in? Which is going to happen, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about yourself once you do. All right. Because it's bound to come. It's bound to come. Do what you're going to do. But you know what, it's Vanessa? Gonna go home. Nine Vanessa. Years, nine years for two years. Vanessa. Nine years for two years. Out of the two years he was home, I think you only see him four times. Huh. Is I'm correct? It might have been lower than that. No, that's not going to work. It's, well, it's well, not. All right. It's not. All right. Like you said, you know, you know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen. We have two more of our guests anxiously waiting to find out if their loved ones are going to give their inmates the axe. Stay with us. Two guests are about to find out if their family members will free themselves from their chains that bind them to their lovers in jail. Danita Bingle says she's sick of her sister Brandy supporting her deadbeat boyfriend in jail when she has three kids to take care of at home. Will Brandy wise up and give her locked up lover the boot? Yes. Yes? She's coming through that door. She is, right? She got God in her life and she got the love of me, my mother and my grandma. <laughs> She coming through that door. Okay. She coming. She's coming. She's coming. She's coming. She's coming. She coming. All right, Danita, you invested a lot in her. You helped raise her. All right. You're crossing them, right? You right, Danita? All right, let's open the door. I'm not going to lose my sister about no cat. Right. 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 She got blood. She don't need blood. She got blood. All right. And you know a lot of the things your sister said. I'm sure you're not hearing it for the first time. Know you know she's right. From A to Z. You know she is, don't you? Yeah, she right. I mean, it is so hard to change what we've been doing. And like Lakeitha said, there's a pattern. You start a pattern. But you don't want to pass that on to your kids, do you? 
Brandy, Brandy, I just wanted to say that you're a young, beautiful, vibrant woman. Gorgeous! And gorgeous. I'm going to fix her up! And you know, you made, you made the right decision because yes. t Tammy Wynette is dead. You don't got to stand by your man. You got to stand by your sisters, your friends, and your baby. Yeah! This is Tammy Wynette. Can you hear what's going on out here? Yes. She will want to hear it. All right. You, you have anything you want to say? One more time. Don't nope. Come I love y'all, but I'm not. Tuh. You don't love you, me? You yeah. love that man. Because if you love well, me, you would have came through the door. So don't tell me about love. Because I ain't got no love for Tamika? you. Tamika? No Tamika? Okay. What about you? What about you? I hear him. And what? you want to come on through? Make a change? Yes. Come on! Come on! Okay, there you go. Yeah, Tamika! Why'd you change your mind? Because, because we've been friends for nine years. I'm not going to let nine years of friendship go down and drain but like that. But you know that. what? When you, when you first didn't come to I said to Vanessa, I said, I see it on her face. She knows you're right. She knows it. And, I, I, and now you're here. I'm so happy. Because I do believe that you knew a lot of what she was saying was right in your heart. Yes. And it's hard just sometimes to get off that dime and do the right thing. And you did it. I, now you're a woman, like Danita said. <laughs> you had to say not only you but you heard what everybody here had to say and she saw she saw you Randy she saw you Tamika oh man that's good all right let's hope hold me is there let's open the door that ain't good that ain't good at all go on uh yeah I thought that the, that the girls who stood by their men should be, you know, commended for loyalty. It sounds like you're... Wait, no, 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 no. How are you going to stand by and stand by her? Sorry. Wait, wait, just, Noe, how are, you, how are you doing? That's not right. I mean, she should have come out. If not even coming out for me, she should have come out for herself, for her child, and for their future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This gentleman talked about loyalty. loyalty. What about being loyal to, to your family and to yourself? to yourself? You are women to that children. need to be loyal to yourself and take care of yourself. These two ladies right here in the middle realized that they needed to do that for themselves. Now, Lakeisha and Mia, you need to step up and be loyal to yourself. Take right. care of you and your family. And love them. I don't them. know why. Yeah. That's, that's, that's great. Your family. That's great. You shouldn't. Mia, Mia shouldn't let him run her life while he's in prison he's or in jail or prison, life, wherever he's no, at. How is he running my he life? Is your running your life. Don't you want to go to school? How? Do you want to go to school? Yes, you do. Do you want to get a job? Yes, you do. Is he letting you do it? No, he's not. No, he. What about, is it low self-esteem? That's think exactly what it is. I mean, he's got complete control over it. And where's he at? In jail. He's got no choice. He's got no choice. She's got the choice. All right. Wait, you know what? Mia. He loves you. That's right. And this, this, he knows this it. young lady's right when she says loyal, loyal to yourself. And Latasha, too, Latasha, husband. you're 17 years old. You have your whole life ahead of you. All right, there's still time, you guys. There's still time. We're not out of time yet. And you can come through the door. Latasha, I know you want to. Stay with us. We'll be right back. I know you want to. you for joining us today. We're going to hook up Brandy right here. Brandy is going on a date with Corey tonight. Yeah. 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 If someone you know is stuck in a dead-end jailhouse romance or 
any other dead-end relationship and you want to tell them to break free, we can help. Give us a call. I'm Robin Givens, and we'll see you next time.